miss you guys. I hope you're having a great hey day. Hey there, boys and girls. Who are you? I'm Ray. Ray? Yeah, Ray's sister. Well, it's good to have you here. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm Dandy. Is that a fishing phrase? It is now. I'm just feeling so good. Yeah, I just got off the phone with my brother. Doing good today. Cool. What did you talk about? Well, we love calling each other and talking about stories about lives on the sea. Like what? Well, you know the time that I wrestled a shark. You wrestled a shark? Sure did. Sure did. It was pretty easy, too. They don't have no arms, so I have an advantage. Mm -hmm. Well, what'd you do? Well, I, 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 we were fishing together, and our car broke down on the way. And we were just out by the beach, right? And in the middle of nowhere, we were stranded for hours. And what we did was, guess what we did? What'd you do? The shark showed, showed up, and we said, you know what? I'm going to get this shark. So I jumped in that water, and I wrestled the shark. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. What happened with its mouth? Well, you see this rod right here? Mm -hmm. You see this string right here? I was able to get the string off and I tied it right, right, right around the mouth. And you were able to keep the shark's mouth shut? Yes, they, this wire is a good, strong wire, I'm telling you. That's kind of weird, but that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what else happened? Well, after we got the shark all down, we had us some shark steaks. Wow. It was lovely. That is amazing. Thank you for stopping by, Ray. It was good to talk to you. Why, well, thank you. Thank you for having me. I'll see you next time. See you next time. Okay. Have a great week. You too. Well, hey, Kids Life. Today, we're going to be continuing with our series about the disciple Peter. So, if you remember, Peter was just an average guy who God used to do some really amazing things. In our last lesson, we learned how Peter left behind absolutely everything he had in order to follow God. He left behind his fishing business, his family, his friends. He left behind everything to follow Jesus. But Jesus did some really amazing things in Peter's life. He had some really cool stuff planned for Peter. So one day, Jesus and his disciples traveled to a city called Capernaum. All of a sudden, Peter was approached by the tax collectors of the temple. They got up in his face and they said to him, does your teacher pay the temple tax? Peter was probably a little scared. He was definitely surprised and he said, of course he does. But Peter kind of got himself in a tough situation. He just promised that Jesus and he would pay the temple tax. But the problem was, Peter left behind his fishing business. He didn't have a way to make any money. So he was probably a little scared, a little frightened. He didn't know how in the world he was going to pay this temple tax. Peter had a need, a really big need. Have you ever been there? Have you ever had a need that was so big, you didn't know how in the world you were gonna take care of it? Maybe you owed somebody money and you didn't know how you were gonna pay them back. Or maybe there was something that you really needed for school and you didn't have the money to buy it. Peter did something that all of us should do when we have a need. The first thing Peter did is he went to find Jesus. He went to the house where Jesus was staying. He was going to find Jesus and he was gonna ask him for help. That is the first lesson that we can learn in the story. When we have a need, we need to go to Jesus. Peter didn't go off trying to come up with some scheme to make money. He didn't plan to go on like the trains or around the city and sell candy bars. He didn't plan to put on some kind of show. He, was, he went to Jesus first. And that is the same thing that we need to do. Sometimes we wonder if God really knows what's happening in our lives. If he really knows what we're going through. But he does. He knows our needs before we even ask. So Peter, so Jesus answers Peter's question of what he needs before he even asks. So as soon as he walked in the building, as soon as he got to the house, Jesus asked Peter a question. He said, Peter, that do you believe that kings tax their own people or do they tax foreigners or like people of other lands who they've conquered? Peter was so surprised. Before he even had a chance to ask about taxes, Jesus was already bringing it up. Jesus kept on talking and he said, we don't want to offend anyone, 
so we should pay the temple tax. Peter was so surprised he didn't even have a chance to ask Jesus about it. He even went on to tell Peter what to do and how to pay that tax. Before Peter even asked him how to do it, Jesus was already telling him. He told Peter to take a fishing line and go down to the lake and let it down into the water. And to catch the very first fish, the very first fish that he caught, to open its mouth and to check it for a coin. Inside the fish's mouth, he'd find a coin and use that coin to pay the temple tax for both Jesus and for Peter. This was a crazy plan, but Peter did as Jesus asked. Can you imagine what it would have been like to be Peter, to go down to a lake, to bring a fishing line, to let it down into the water, to catch a fish? Peter then opened that fish's mouth and inside of it, he found a coin. The coin was enough money to pay the temple tax for both of them. Can you imagine how fun it would have been to take that coin down to the tax collectors and hand them a coin all covered in fish guts? I bet that would have been pretty fun. What we learned from this is that God provides for our needs. No matter what need we have, God knows all about it. It doesn't matter how big it is because God is bigger. Sometimes he provides for our needs in ways that we never imagined. I'm sure Peter never imagined he would be paying that temple tax with fish money, but God knew. God provides for our needs even before we ask because God loves his children. When we have a need, we need to take it to God because he cares for us. Let's pray. Dear God, I pray for anyone who's listening who has needs right now. I pray that you meet the needs that we have in our life. Whether it's needs we have because the coronavirus needs to stay safe, to be able to have jobs, to be able to have a good education, or if it's needs that's been going on for a while that maybe are a little bit scarier. We know that you're a good God who loves your children and that you provide for our needs. I pray that you do that today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Bye Kids Life, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great week.